Hi there, this is Rosa with a new process video. This is the second, I think, out of um, six layouts that I did for the National Scrapbooking Weekend or during the National Scrapbooking Weekend. And uh, I participated in a bunch of challenges at a internet community, a message board. And uh, this one was for the spring into summer uh, challenge. And you basically was going to make something that was uh, summery or uh, spring-like. And I think ice cream fits the summer uh, theme quite uh, well. And uh, I had uh, two photos of uh, <laughs> myself preparing ice cream cones for the kids and uh, I'm making a silly face there and uh, I thought it was uh, uh, a fun series the the cones and uh, me playing the the ice cream um, barista or what do you call ice cream uh, lady <laughs> uh, I mounted them uh, on uh, a row and uh, this will be the, the theme for her or the, the style of the page. I will make rows. And uh, I'm uh, placing my two photos onto a striped, bit like a worn uh, pattern uh, paper from a, a Cosmo Cricut uh, 8x8 pad that I had in my stash. Uh, one of those that I bought because I loved the uh, front uh, side or the, the page where they displayed all the papers. When I actually got the, the uh, paper pad, uh, it wasn't as fun uh, to, to use the, the papers. But when uh, the designers display their uh, collections like this and it is yellow, in the mix. I fall like a tree. I, that's just something that I have, have learned. I love when designers uh, use a lot of yellow. Anyway, uh, I'm also going to make use of this lovely crate paper, ice cream paper. Uh, yeah, it, it is, it's a bit dull. <laughs> I wish they had done it on white <laughs> or or uh, more like a cream color base. This is gray and that's sad. I think it's really sad but with that fun pattern. It would have been much more fun if it had been more pretty. Anyway, uh, ice cream cones, uh, ice cream cones fitted the um, theme of the layout perfectly. I'm inking the edges with brown ink and uh, that's uh, something that I used to do all the time but I have realized that I don't do it as much uh, anymore. I don't know why but uh, yeah perhaps it, it has something to do with the papers that I'm using so and uh, yeah I don't know. Uh, now it's time for some clay and I'm using the crafters clay from um, Martha Stewart. This is my favorite, 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 favorite clay and it is so soft. It's almost like chewing gum but not sticky and uh, it, it's that soft. And I'm using uh, silicone molds that I bought online. Uh, these I pay perhaps a dollar each and I buy them from AliExpress and uh, they are so cute. I pretty much bought all the ice creams that I could find and at that price I, I you understand why <laughs> and uh, here I'm just showing you how I make those then I have a whole bunch of ones that are dry uh, this clay it dries uh, hard uh, in air and uh, they are paper uh, so the, it's paper clay so when you have these embellishments then they are super lightweight they don't weigh anything really and uh, they get a bit bulky uh, the uh, the molds are like that in, in these particular cases but i don't make bulky layouts that much so i'm okay with that when i get to use these pretty ones and um, 
anyway, they are lightweight, so you can glue them on and they'll stick forever. And, and since it's paper, it's also really nice to adhere them. And you can paint them. And I'm doing that with some acrylic paint. I'm using the paint dauber paints from Ranger. And I'm going to color them so that they look yummy and delicious. And uh, and uh, it's it's a fun process making them. And, and I become happy when I see them on my page. I'm just coloring the cones in a different, uh, in a couple of different uh, colors, like brown, yellowish, uh, like that. I'm not being overly uh, artistic. I'm just coloring, uh, no shading going on whatsoever, and uh, I'm just making sure that the white. Um, paint or, or the white clay doesn't show through with where the details are uh, making it hard to paint so that's just I'm covering uh, with paint and, and I like that I have a couple of other um, shapes of molds and uh, for example hearts and and uh, like uh, flowers, different kinds, those that you can see, like and uh, raisin uh, flowers in, in the uh, AliExpress site and, and also on eBay. Uh, I bought those ones and I think I have a couple of themed ones as well. Uh, some of the molds they are made to fit more like resin um, craft and not so much uh, clay craft. But uh, for the, that price, as I told you, uh, it's it's totally okay to, to take a chance and, and see if, if you could use it with, with the crafter's clay. Uh, the clay is quite expensive. I think I... Yeah, I when I made my purchase, you, if you have seen my latest haul video, uh, I bought a new uh, package on crafter's clay and I paid 99, 99 uh, Swedish crowns for that. And that, I think it's close to perhaps uh, 13 uh, American dollars uh, or something like that uh, if my if my uh, calculations <laughs> in my head are correct uh, it, but uh, they last a very long time when you're just doing these tiny uh, items so I think it's worth it if you want to try and if you think that this is, is your thing uh, the crafters clay is the totally the best for, for scrapbookers, I think, and if you are doing uh, work with molds like this. I love it. I, it's so fun to play with. My kids love it if you want to invite your uh, younger family members to play along. But uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit expensive, so um, you might stick to the smaller, <laughs> the smaller molds. Uh, now I forgot uh, to uh, zoom out. But uh, that's okay, really, because I'm working this uh, corner of the paper, and uh, I'm gluing the uh, different uh, st strips uh, of my design uh, down next to each other, and I'm working on a crate paper paper from the PR collection that I have in my uh, paper. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the paper pad, 12 by 12 paper pad. I'm using up uh, the bits and pieces that I had left from cutting the photo mats, and uh, those are also inked with brown. And uh, yeah, that's this is the foundation for for the whole page. And now it's time to make clusters and layers and use lots of these fun embellishments that come with the uh, pool side and the mm -mm, what was that called the late. Uh, the pier, the poolside, and the pier um, collections. This will be almost entirely a crate paper pa page. Uh, now I'm looking for embellishments in the die cut pack that would fit this uh, layout, and I'm just using the summary kind of uh, symbols that I find. There's a radio, for example, and a fan. I don't know if it will make it onto the fi final page, but I'm, I'm picking up those that I think could work and uh, also try to to stick to a couple of of, uh, of colors and not mix mix too much but at the same time the ice cream cones in the pattern papers have pretty much all 
uh, the uh, colors so so I I think it was easy to just go with the flow and, and create something that's uh, very inside the collection the poolside collection I'm going to make three uh, clusters and they will be big and bold and have lots of details to make them a bit uh, grounded I'm using a piece of uh, blue bluish uh, cardstock and I'm just making uh, yeah, like uh, rectangles uh, of that uh, paper most of it will be covered up so it will just only show in tiny tiny pieces on the finished page but I thought it was important to have a darker heavier element to ground these embellishment clusters since they are going to be very very uh, detailed and almost to the point messy but it's fun this is a, ba a bit out of my comfort zone making these large embellishment embellishing clusters but it's fun to to be a bit crazy once in a while and just play along with the collection and the die cut packs i i really love and enjoy these uh, die cut packs but uh, i get a bit uh, frugal when it comes to using them <laughs> i perhaps place one or two items on a page uh, i'm yeah I, I think a lot about uh, saving <laughs> <laughs> when when I scrapbook and, and that's okay because I don't want to just get rid of products I've said it before and it's, it's, this is very very central in my scrapbooking I scrapbook to make pages not to get rid of uh, and use up um, products I'm not product based as a scrapbooker I'm, I'm, I'm photo centered these photos uh, when i look at them I, I think they're really fun i i think you should take more photos when you are making faces and when you are uh, goofing around because those are really fun and if you don't think that you look uh, that uh, great in the photos uh, just relax in 15 years you will think that you look young and fresh and uh, perhaps that's something to invest in the future you won't be any younger than you are today <laughs> that's just facts <laughs> and and smiling and making a goofy face it it's remi it reminds you of the, the the good days and when you ju just live live and have fun and uh, i i'm i'm perhaps not the goofy kind really i'm i'm a rather serious person but uh, when I'm with my family, I like to, yeah, be fun, entertain them a bit, <laughs> and and I want that to show in my photos as well. So uh, then you need to to plan for that and and hand the camera over and uh, just play along. I, I think that's important, and invest in the future, as I said, to make yourself in in 15 years happy that you had fun moments and and you you were willing to to just give that away on a photo i think that's important i will remember that now when it when we are moving into the photo heavy uh, period of time uh, period of year uh, when we take a lot of photos during summer and vacation yeah now the ice creams are in place i placed three ice creams in each cluster and uh, I'm pulling out the uh, dots, the pearl or bead dots. Uh, I had a question uh, in my uh, comment box uh, here on YouTube, how I make these. And uh, I have tried a couple of different kinds of, of uh, beads. And the only version or the only brand that works for me is the pearl or beads. Uh, I bought my perler beads online directly from the manufacturer's web website and uh, the shipping here uh, to Europe was reasonable and I bought a big bucket uh, full of uh, all colors and I think that was the best uh, opportunity. Uh, I bought the square bucket with the uh, green lid 
and uh, I will have perler beads for a long time. Some of the colors I, I realize that I will run out of, but then you can buy smaller baggies and just pour them into the box, <laughs> into the, the bucket. Uh, but they are the only one that works. Here in Sweden, uh, the uh, choice stories, uh, they sell a uh, different brand, it's called Hama, and they don't work. They are completely different in chemistry, uh, they are more rubbery. These are uh, harder, uh, the perler beads, they are harder. Uh, when I'm making the dots, I'm placing them on parchment paper, on a uh, um, like those uh, trays that you have in the oven, I don't know what you call them, a plate, no, uh, a cooking sheet, no, I don't know what you call them. Uh, anyway, uh, parchment paper and then I place them like small uh, towers uh, on that parchment paper. For the bigger ones I place two on top of each other and for the uh, medium ones I just place them as uh, one and for the tiny, tiny, tiny ones, I cut them with a, uh, a plier uh, in half and uh, place them also like those little donuts on the cooking sheet. I cook one side, uh, uh, one size at a time, so I'm doing only the uh, big ones or only the medium ones, and uh, I use about 100 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, on the oven, 100, 120, and for a reasonable <laughs> or quite a long time, perhaps 20 minutes, but th this is um, uh, easy. Uh, so you just wait until they are uh, fully um, uh, melted. Uh, they will look like do donuts for a long, long time, but uh, then eventually they melt and the little uh, bump in the middle will go away. So rather uh, a low temperature in the oven and uh, a reasonable time over 20 minutes and only the perler beads. Yes, the perler beads. No, the, not the Hama ones or the Nabi ones. Uh, only the perler beads. And here is the finished page with all the dots and all the ice creams and all the die cuts. Uh, summer plus ice cream equals happy. That's the title and the happy is with a uh, big and chunky uh, glitter thickers. And uh, I thought that was really fun. And uh, here are some close-ups of the clusters and you see that I've really gone outside my comfort zone in <laughs> creating them. <laughs> it was fun. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Take care. This is Osa. Bye.